welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya here in fabulous Honolulu. Take a look at this video that we have shot from the Excite Modular Drone of PTC 2019. And joining me here today, the woman of Excite Modular, Miss Amy Marks, CEO of Excite Modular. Amy, welcome. Thank you, thank you for having me at JSA TV. Oh, we are honored, and uh, for sure there's a lot of buzz here at PTC. Your drone footage, for one, but also look at this t-shirt, not a container hashtag. Tell us about it. Well, we've been on an educational kick about the difference between containers and modular cable landing stations and data centers for a long time. So we decided we just need a hashtag for it. So it's hashtag not a container. Uh, anytime anyone asks us, asks us about our business, it's the first thing we're gonna say, hashtag not a container. Oh, I love that. And for sure, PTC, again, a buzz with the Excite uh, brand here. Uh, you have been speaking on multiple panels. Every time I turn around, I'm like, oh, Amy's speaking again. And a lot of conversation on inclusion and diversity. I know topics that are important, near and dear to your heart. Tell us a little bit more. Yes, so I really believe that our industry is in a crisis right now, a skill set crisis. And we really need to drive more people into this industry from diverse backgrounds and talents, uh, from underrepresented markets. So um, with Suboptic, which is an association in the industry, which you should join and be a member of, um, we have an, a conference every three years, and we also have some working groups that work on some hot topics in the industry. So I'm actually the working chair, um, the working group chair for diversity and inclusion. And some of the things we're doing over there is we have a survey that's going out actually after PTC to understand how we are doing in the industry is in terms of diversity and inclusion in our workforce, and then really to benchmark that against other industries to see where do we need to improve. So Suboptic is doing a lot in diversity and inclusion. Uh, also now. As Bax from Seaborn and myself have started the Women in Subsea group and so we had a wonderful discussion uh, yesterday with a lot of women in the industry that really are, are, are coming out into their own and uh, getting into more and more leadership positions. Also we're bringing younger women into the group so that group has had a phenomenal um, really just response and by the way it's open to both women and champions of women so we've had a lot of men at these events for sub women in subsea who have been amazingly supportive and and really really lend the discussion to a different direction uh, it's been incredible so we have a lot going on over there um, in the diversity and inclusion but I always say it's not about being a feminist or wanting just to have diversity for diversity's sake this is really about money. We have to make this industry work better. We've got to get fresher ideas, newer ideas, younger people into the industry. And if we don't, this industry truly is going to be in a, a bigger crisis than it is. So it's about capitalism. It's actually not about feminism. No, and it, that's a great point. This is what's right for business, for, right for uh, basically solving problems for tomorrow and not with yesterday's solutions, but, but tomorrow's solutions. What's right for uh, the industry and for our infrastructure and for our industry growth. Um, for sure, we're all going to retire in 20, 30 years. That's what they tell me. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you know, but wh where's the where's the fresh blood coming in to take over? Uh, what's our next generation of our industry? Um, again, a topic that you'll be exploring at Suboptics. Suboptics.org. You heard it here. Now, let's talk about some of the news of the day. You dropped some big news here at PTC. Tell us a little bit more. Well, we are here in the Pacific region, so we are members of PETA and also members of PTC. Um, and we were just awarded our 17th building in the region, and so we'll be building the cable landing station for PNG. And we're very excited on the Coral Sea cable system. So it's, you know, we're really excited and proud, and we really love our presence in the Pacific Islands and also in the Pacific region. So we're just excited for another fantastic client actually within the region and want to keep adding more uh, to the space. And I understand that this actually literally came out of the success of another deal. Tell us more. Well, I think, you know, people are seeing the Solomon Islands Coral Sea projects that we're doing. Um, and also, I just the robustness of the buildings that we're able to provide in, in Coral Sea. Um, but also, I think what we've done on Atissa and having one of our buildings go through a Category 5 um, typhoon there, the Super Typhoon U2, people, again, are saying, I don't want containers. I need a bespoke building that's hardened, that's able to, under you know, resist the 200-year storm. I mean, you're talking about they had gusts over 210 miles per hour. And our buildings, you know, they did amazingly 
well afterwards and the client called and said, please, you know, put us in all your marketing. And I think people are really responding to our hashtag not a container. I mean, you could put all the expensive equipment that you want into a container if it gets blown over the first time there's a big storm or it's leaking or you have condensation and things like that. Um, you know, all modular is not created equal, as we say. So I think finally that word's getting out. And actually, that's why people are wearing our T-shirts around because yeah. uh, I think they, they get it finally. So it's good. And, you know, again, hashtag not a container. <laughs> a category five storm in the middle of an island uh, containers blowing around True. and there is the excite modular staying strong uh, against category five winds that must make you feel pretty good it really does actually my 10 year old daughter Mackenzie said mommy People say their products can do things, but yours actually did it. Aww. And I, I'm really proud of that. I feel like, you know, you always, you're designing for the 100-year storm or the 200-year storm. This is the worst storm in U.S. Uh, island history. And, you know, I feel good about that, that we are who we say we are and that we, are, we stand behind our buildings. And knowing you personally, a woman that stands behind her word for sure. Now, I've also read a few articles about you that's been published recently, particularly about cable landing station news. Can you tell us? A little bit more about some uh, trends that you're seeing? Well, I think for us, clients are asking us for a little bit more turnkey services. So we've been talking a little bit more about um, how we can provide everything they need on the dry side of this business. If you were in the panel that I was in yesterday and I asked people to raise their hand who had experience on the dry side, who were experts on the dry side of the business, what I think only two, two people raised their hand yeah. out, of a, <laughs> out of a group in the industry of over 500. And so because we feel a responsibility being experts on the dry side, we want to offer more services. So we do want to offer more turnkey in being able to do permitting, uh, marine and terrestrial permitting, and all the site work and foundation for our buildings as well if you need it, as well as our buildings, um, and becoming more of the AEC partner, the architect engineer record partner on these buildings where they're going. But I think also we are seeing a morphing of the cable landing station become more of the hybrid cable station data center. And as we are also data center builders and edge data center builders, uh, we want to make sure that people actually are getting the requirements for the buildings they want, the resiliency and the redundancy. So we feel it's really um, our responsibility to make sure that everyone's getting the performance requirements that they need and that they're expecting in these types of hybrid buildings or even if pure data center buildings that are happening on the edge at this point. Uh, well, we love that. We love hearing this story. We love that there's someone championing, uh, you know, they're uh, putting their own name on, on uh, their products and putting it out there in a, in a secure manner. Uh, certainly what our infrastructure is requiring these days, what we need more of. Yes. So where can we go to find out more? Well, you can come to excitemodular.com and check us out at our website. There are a lot of self-guided video tours of our buildings out there. Um, we also are on LinkedIn, on Twitter. Uh, you can check out a lot of our things online. Um, and really, we just want to serve. That's we're here to make our clients delighted and, and to really, you know, bring the internet. We build the internet. That's what we say. Excite builds the internet. Amy Marks, everybody. Thank you so much, Amy, for joining us. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.